So basically these are the racks as I mentioned. So of course there's, I've trimmed out the intercostals from in, in between the bones and then because us chefs like to make everything look nice, um, we've got to scrape the, uh, the remaining sinew and whatnot off there, so which is known as Frenching. The best way to do it is to use the back of a knife. So <laughs> you don't ruin your knife, so then you end up with, you know, nice clean bones like that. Um, so then after that, I am going to just put a little bit of oil and salt and pepper on it and the vanilla powder. So you're using extra virgin olive oil? Mm-hmm. So we've got some black pepper here in this little chamber. So with the cherries, what I'm going to do is just take off the stalk and then cut them around the pit like that and then twist it and then just pull the, the stone out like so. The beautiful beetroot, we uh, simmered in some water with um, a bit of vinegar, salt, sugar, star anise, cinnamon, black pepper, garlic cloves. So with the, um, the venison, when you're cooking it in the pan, you want a nice hot pan and because you've just done all that lovely work making the bones nice and clean, put it kind of up against the edge of the pan like that so the bones don't get burnt. And high heat um, is what you want. So get a nice sear on it without it cooking too much. So you can see a nice colour on there, getting a nice crust on it. So probably sear it for about, all up for about six or seven minutes. All right, so I'll whack that in a, oh, we'll turn it up a little bit, 200 degree oven for about four to five minutes. Great. And then pull it out and let it rest. So in this pan, there should be some delicious um, meaty juices and oil in there. I'm just gonna biff these cherries in here to just lightly um, give them a bit of, a bit of heat. Toss <laughs> them around and they will soak up um, any of that vanilla that's come off the, um, the venison. Um, so I've got some, apparently this is vinegar, uh -huh. we'll find out later. Um, and just throw a little bit of that in, so it'll just slightly pickle the cherries. There we go, get those out of there. Look at that, looks pretty bloody good. So you've really preheated that oven, it's, it's yep. really hot when you pop it in. Yep. So, we'll put some of this lovely puree on the bottom. Is this how you cook at home? Uh, it is actually. And then some of the beetroot. Some of these broad beans. Got some lovely colours going on here as well. This is divine. It's, it's actually very Christmassy. It is. Just drizzle a little bit of that juice around as well. Lovely little bit of sauce around. There we go. There you go, what do you reckon? Chef Daniel Wilson, thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us on stage.